if you're here, you must have survived the holidays. You know, those family get togethers, all that food, maybe a little bit of adult beverage. I don't know. Anyway, welcome to Rob Motive Live Monday. We're here coming from the garage where I keep my stuff. This is where I spend most of my time actually is out here in the garage. Do you guys hear an echo? Somebody actually complained a while back that there was an echo in my garage. It's like, no kidding. It's a garage. It's going to have an echo. I don't have carpet or pictures. Well, I do have pictures, but none that absorbs sound. Anyway, welcome to the live stream. It is Monday. I hope all y'all had a great holiday. I had a good holiday. Lots of food. Time to go back on the old diet. Getting a little bigger. Seat belts getting a little tighter. Got to wear these shorts, you know. Anyway, let's do uh, a couple of announcements. We don't have a ton of people. Matter of fact, I don't even have my laptop on yet. Suppose I should take care of that, right? Let's go ahead. I can't do this till the live stream actually comes on because I'm broadcasting from my phone because that's the best picture. What is the commercial today? It is an auto loan commercial. Looks like it's for auto approve. I don't know. So this is brought to you by, I guess, this commercial. I don't know. I don't determine what commercials play. That's a YouTube thing. All right. I got rid of that. So now I can see myself, even though the timing doesn't match. Look, Klondike says, howdy, Rob. How you doing, buddy? What's happening? How are you? We have a little unpackaging to do today. Um, this came from um, Love to Smoke. Love to Smoke, or Eugene up there in Canada, right there. We're going to unbox or unopen this here in a minute. I have a feeling what it is. It should be pretty cool, but we'll see. Um, announcements. Now that you've got all those Christmas gifts, that, that cash, those checks, probably dying to spend that money on Tacoma Mods, right? That's what I'd be doing. Anyway, let's get these out of the way real quick. First of all, we have a discount code for Sparks Parts. Dot com 5% off. Rob Motive is the code. They have all kinds of Toyota parts, not only for the Tacoma, but the Tundra and the Camry and the Corolla and you name it. If you want to mod your Prius, you probably could get things from them. Also, Headlight Revolution discount code Rob Motive. There's a theme here for free shipping. Save you a few bucks. What the heck? And last, but certainly not least, Tough Skins. You can get all those decals and sill plate covers and protection and all that stuff from them. That discount code is RobMotive10 for 10% off your order. Also, real quick, got to plug my channels. I have a second channel, which is what this is going to be related to, I think. But I have a second channel about my Jeep Gladiator. It's the Jeep JT, in case you didn't know that. It is Rob Motive JT. Check that out. Subscribe to it. Maybe you'll like a video or two. I don't know. Also, I do have a third channel I started um, a little while back, not long ago. It's Rob Motive Civic. That's Rob Motive Civic, like Honda Civic. It's got my Civic on it, the Sport Hatch, the Sport Touring, which was my mother's. My Type R that I had for a while is going to be coming back on there. And um, let's see, my mother's Type R as well, probably. We got to grab that and do some videos because I don't have my Type R anymore. I traded that a long time ago. But I'm going to post some videos up, some older videos. And by the way, I think it's rather funny. It's funny for me to watch myself on there because it's, uh, it's uh, crazy. It's, it's just very subdued, you know. I guess I was camera shy when I first started doing it. I don't know. Couple comments. Chat says, good evening, Rob. Howdy. Chat, how you doing there, buddy? Uh, let's see. We have a message held for review. Uh, uh, Raymond Perez says, why do manual owners get paranoid when teaching stick shift? Uh, because it's probably their car and they don't want the person they're trying to teach to ruin their car. I'd be paranoid. You know, you're always listening for that little... <laughs> It's horrible. Or they just forget to push the clutch or forget to hit the brake because there's so much going on and they rear end somebody. Yeah, I've, I've been paranoid before teaching people how to drive, believe me. William Comston, good evening. William, how you doing, buddy? Welcome. Uh, Frankie Martinez, howdy, Rob. Happy New Year, man. Uh, first Rob Motive Monday of the year. It is. And with any luck, there'll be 51 more of them. 
Hey, think about that. We can get together 51 more times this year. I don't, well, live anyway. I mean, I hope we get together more often than that, but live. Uh, let's see. Frankie also says, love the grand hand, grab handle mod. Yeah, we're going to talk about that mod a little bit. Uh, because what, you know, who thinks something like that would be polarizing? I don't know. It shouldn't be. But uh, it certainly has been for some people. I wouldn't say a lot. There's been a handful. Um, and I must say, uh, I was a little worried when I, was, when I first got it. Um, I wanted to make sure, I guess, that it was indeed for the Tacoma and not just some um, random or, you know, a handle that you could stick on anything. I've seen them out there. Some people have done their own adaptations of the grab handle for the Tacoma. And I was concerned that maybe it would be some kind of generic product that's designed to fit many different trucks, right? It isn't. It's specific to the Tacoma. Um, and mine went well, excluding the time it took uh, to put those bolts in. You know, that was kind of a drag. And, and there have been a couple other people who have mentioned that. I know someone else, can't think of the name off the top of my head, but they spent quite a long time trying to do that. Never did get it. Um, finally came to the conclusion that uh, the little piece they send you to screw into uh, was the wrong size. And I know the company has put a blurb up that they had sent out some bad hardware. I don't know how that happens. I mean, I would think on a rollout like this, which was hugely anticipated, I think, um, or wanted. I don't know why they wouldn't have taken a little bit more care maybe to make sure that everything in the kit was correct uh, because this is a big deal. I mean, there are a lot of people out there who want this, who have been wanting it for years. You know, they stopped putting it in beginning with uh, the third gens, 2016. So we're in 2021, five years of no grab handle. So you could imagine, there are a lot of people out there who are interested in this. And I would think you wanna seize the moment as a company and get it right from the beginning. I mean, it took this company a long time, at least a year to, uh, and probably longer, but as far as I know, to develop this and get it out. Um, there were people who've had this part on order for over a year. Um, and I'll be honest, way back when I first heard of this company, I went out there and I'm not big on pre-orders from companies I don't know of, right? I mean, I have pre-ordered stuff, but not from companies I've never heard of. I never heard of this company, so I didn't do the pre-order uh, because I wanted to make sure that they were legitimate, you know, that they were gonna deliver. And then as time went on and on and on and on and on, I, I got pretty skeptical, ordered it from uh, Tacoma Beast, which is where I got mine. They're obviously a distributor for this company, KJ, KTJO, it's called, KTJO 4x4. So they're obviously a distributor. And I got to thinking after I ordered it, shortly thereafter, I thought, you know, I'll bet you they're gonna get this from that same company. And they did! When I got the box, which I just threw away today, by the way, I think I have their card still. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, KTJO 4x4, right there. That's the company. But that's the original one that I had seen that I, I must admit, I was skeptical. I didn't know if they'd ever deliver. And as long as it took, I bet you they were starting to wonder if they were ever going to deliver. But they did. It came. And for me, it wasn't a bad install at all. Talking about that bolt for a minute, or the two bolts. Um, you saw in the video how it goes in if you watch the video. If you haven't watched the video, why not? But anyway... It's got two bolts that go in in the handle, right? I mean, you got a bolt here and a bolt here, and you just have to align them properly. That was the big problem, is trying to align them the right way through the hole that was in the handle itself, which was yay wide. I mean, it gave a little bit of play. And then into the very precise and specific hole, threaded hole, both already existing in the Tacoma, where you took the bolt out of the original trim piece, and then the area where you slid in their little slip nut, I'll call it. I forget what it's technically called, but it's a little slip nut kind of thing that goes over an existing spot where Toyota <clears throat> would have mounted the, uh, the grab handle before, right? And you have to have it dead on to get it in there. I mean, you know, when you're trying to put, <coughs> excuse me, a threaded uh, bolt into a hole, it's got to be right on. You know, it's not very big, so... 
you don't get a lot of play when you're trying to put that in, right? So you pretty much have to be dead on. And if you're not, that's where a lot of the, I just saw what that looked like. That's not good. Not what I meant, not what I meant. Um, but you have to have it just right or it's not gonna line up perfectly when you put it in, right? That's the biggest problem with getting this in. Um, otherwise, everything else just fit up perfectly. Let's catch up on some comments here for a minute before I, I get too involved and forget uh, who I am and where I'm at. Uh, James Halliburton, geez, Rob, feels like I haven't seen you in a whole year. What the heck? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> uh, Tom Gregory, Happy New Year, Rob. Tom, how you doing? Happy New Year, thank you. William, I've had uh, the same grab handle on order from the same place since March. We, yeah, I mean, way back when word first broke that they were going to put this thing out, a lot of people ordered, I think, pre-ordered. Um, and it's been a while. I'm surprised you don't have it now, though. They have been shipping out. And I saw a blurb from them on Instagram. They say they have stock. And they're going to place an order for a 1,000 more of these things. So... I don't know how many they ordered to begin with. I doubt it was a thousand. I mean, that seems kind of high. But then again, depending on where they're having the manufacturer, there are mins and minimums rather. Bama fan says, oh, man, you know we're rooting for the Buckeyes. And nobody thought they could beat Clemson, right? Pfft, what a joke that was. They even tried to injure our quarterback. What the heck was that? It's not like we ever did that, ever, anyway. Um, let's see, Rick, uh, Rick King. Hey, Rob, how are you? Rick, I'm good. How you doing? Welcome. Uh, Luke. Hey, Luke. What's up, buddy? Luke says, hey, Rob, have you ever owned a Lexus? No, I have never. One of the few cars I've never owned is a Lexus. Uh, Tony Moe. Ha ha. Yeah, I know. It was bad. It looked bad. It wasn't bad. It's all in the mind, right? Uh, Terry Newell, thinking about the grab handle. Thankfully, I already upgraded my tweeters, so I only have to deal with the bolts once. Yeah, I, if and that's one thing I'll tell you. Um, I don't see how they're going to possibly be able to improve on how it fits, except maybe to open up the hole on their bolt a little bit uh, on their receipt, their their nut. Maybe they could open that up a little bit to give a little bit more play, but I don't see how that's going to get any better. So if you're thinking about the tweeter mod and you're getting the uh, grab handle, the time to do both is at the same time because trust me, once you get that bolt threaded in, which is an enormous feeling of relief, the last thing you wanna do is have to take it out later to do the tweeter mod. You don't wanna do that. So do them both at the same time if you're gonna do it. Matter of fact, I would recommend um, the tweeter mod, and this is a great time to do it because you're already going to have that piece off, which you have to take off anyway. So I would plan it at the same time. If you're going to do any other, so or if you're not going to do any other kind of a sound mod, the kicker tweeter mod is it. You will love it, and you really don't need to do anything else. It makes that much of a difference, in my opinion. Uh, Glenn, wait a minute, where was I? Uh, Glenn Hairston Tai Chi, uh, not what you meant. Nice save. LOL. Thank you. Thank you very much. You, you know, you got to watch what you're putting out there because people's minds, you know, by the way, while I'm looking at the screen, which I guess I've been doing the whole time, we have 11 likes and 39 people on here. We need a few more of these. Just hit that just once one time. That's all you got to do it just once. Uh, Jesse Ramirez, what's up, Rob, from Brownsville, Texas. Howdy, neighbor, how you doing? Uh, just sitting here talking to you guys, man. It's Monday night, wanted to catch up. Seems like it's been forever because of the holidays, right? So here we are. Um, let's see, Rick King says, cutbacks. Cutbacks. Uh, hi, Rob, how are you? Cutbacks. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Uh, Mark Yagen uh, says, waiting for mine soon. When did you order it? I ordered mine, I think, December 6th. I got it like December 23rd, 6th, something like that. I don't know. It took about, I don't know, 20 days, which is about, what, three weeks, something like that. A <sighs> little sip of the green nectar here. Uh, I'm not sponsored by these guys, by the way but they can call me, we can talk. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, <laughs> Uh, JP, I got a 21 Tacoma because of you. Well, that's the power of the internet, right? Do you like it though? And if you don't, I claim no responsibility. If you love it, you're welcome. Uh, Raymond Perez, what mod do you regret doing? Uh, wow. Uh, Probably none on this truck. I mean, if there's any mod I regret doing, it's probably those carbon fiber overlays that I put inside my 2018 Tacoma because I felt after I was done that it was just too much. It was overdone, you know? So it's such a good product that when I went to take them off, the adhesive was a bear and it stuck and it came off and left residue, which is good. You want it to stick, right? You don't want to put it on and have it fallen off. But if you decide to take them off, that's a kind of a pain. And I just think I overdid it there, really. <clears throat> Too many um, uh, decals or overlays, I guess. Nothing on this truck. Um, let's see. Distracted by aviation. He must be a flyer or a flyer buff. Uh, just saw you were live while watching an older video of yours. Question. Headlight Revolution. Uh, things still good with them, and would you recommend them? Was watching the H11 LED upgrade. Yeah, I, I have a good relationship with them. I mean, they offer the discount code, of course. Um, I don't have any problems with them. I would use them. If I'm looking for anything that they sell, light-related or whatever, uh, I will use them again. So, heck yeah, and the products I've gotten from them have always been good. I've never had any issues with any of them. So, heck yeah. Carlos Lopez. Mod time, Carlos. What did you do? What did you do, buddy? Uh, Scott Mark says, what's up, Rob? Watching you live from Phoenix, Arizona. Hey, Scott, I've been to Phoenix. Who knows? Maybe I went by your place once, or maybe it was your parents' place. God forbid it was your grandparents' place. I'm not that old, but I've been to Phoenix. Uh, Mumphy, uh, will you be adding more lighting to the truck, ditch lights, etc.? Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Jane Teleburton should ask for Mountain Dew to sponsor you. You can never have too much Dew, especially for free. 99. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm open. You know, I'm open. I, I need sponsors. You know, I'm a little light in the sponsor area. Like, I have none. So anybody out there who wants to, you know, throw something my way, yeah, get a hold of me. We can talk. Call me. Email me. Text me. DM me. I'm all over the place. Uh, Z Diver says, my mod regret doing was the underseat storage for my 2017 Tundra. You don't say, why? Why didn't you like that one? Uh, Tom Gregory, I have a tracking number for my handle. Hasn't uh, gone out the door yet soon, hopefully. Yeah, I would expect if you have a number, it'll go out. Some places set it up and then they go to the, the post office or whatever once a day. But I would, or once a day, one, well, maybe once a day or once a week, a couple times a week. But I would think demand for this piece is so big that they're probably going daily. I got to think there's a lot of people looking for this. I mean, if, if you judge by the views I've had on it alone, I mean, there's something like 13, 14, I don't even know, 15,000 views, something like that. So even if you take a small percentage of that, that's a lot of orders, man. So I got to figure they've been shipping. And that's just me, you know, plus all their other advertising. I'm not the only one talking about this, at, at least... Well, I might be the only YouTuber talking about it. I haven't seen any other YouTubers do anything with this particular mod yet. So, um, let's see. Frankie says, I was curious, do you use Faraday pouches uh, for the key fob? Should I get one for added security? Um, no. No, I don't. I'm not worried about that kind of stuff, really. I mean, I think there's some hype in that. So, no. It doesn't, it doesn't concern me in the least. Uh, distracted by aviation. Thanks for, let's see, thanks on the light question. Pros and cons uh, to the air deflector since installing it. Um, are you talking about the bug guard back here? Um, no, and I, I don't have any issues with it. Pros, I don't have a cracked windshield. I still get bugs, uh, but I don't have a cracked windshield. So is it because it's working or not? You know, hey, I don't know. Uh, but I don't have any issues, so I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And I think it looks good. Some people don't. Danny Deaver, you sound, your sound is great. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. It's just off of a, uh, 
an iPhone. I'm on the iPhone 11, not the newest one, but the one prior. That's all it is, so that's cool. Or, or you might, maybe you're talking about the, the reverberation, the echo in the garage. Uh, Xavier says, what's up, Rob? Xavier, how you doing? Uh, Z Dobber says, cutting the floor for minimum storage. Ah, yeah. When you do that, uh, that Tundra under seat storage thing, you gotta take some big hunks of insulation out and cut your carpet. I'm not opposed to it. I, I actually would, would probably do it if I didn't have it. Uh, but, you know, Morton Chops more. Yo, Rob, how's the taco? Did you wash it? You should video it. Nobody likes to watch those videos. You know, I, I have, if you want to see a, a truck washing video, I put one up over on my other channel, Rob Motive JT, washing the Jeep Gladiator. And I can tell you from the views, most people could care less. I don't know. I tried to make it entertaining. I think it's entertaining, but it's not getting big views. So probably not going to happen. Although I do, I, there is a video coming out related to that, I must say. Although I'm not washing the Tacoma, but you'll have to see. Um, let's see. Uh, JP says, just curious, what kind of octane do you use on your car? What kind of octane? You mean my truck? I burn, what, 80, uh, 87? Whatever the lowest grade is. I don't do anything special. I think it's a waste of money on this. If you're driving a high-performance um highly tuned vehicle maybe you should run 93 or high octane or whatever you don't need to do that don't waste your money man it's not you're not going to get anything for it in my opinion patrick young says what up in your opinion uh oh here we go i get to speak my mind when you say that i'm going to speak my mind uh are we a year or two from the new tacoma or forerunner uh this is 2021 you are probably three to five years away in my opinion uh, Love to Smoke says, sup, Rob? Happy New Year. Hey, Gene, how you doing? I got something today. We're going to do a little opening here in just a minute. I'm glad you're here. Uh, Xavier says, Rob is a trendsetter. Yeah, it, you may notice this when you see everybody running around in black sleeveless shirts, right? You've noticed there's a lot of people running around like that, right? You see them everywhere now. I'm taking credit for that. I don't have one on today because it's cold outside. You know, it's like 70. Um, let's see, Josh Cravens just bought a 2019 Tacoma TRD off-road on the 26th, love the channel, congratulations, awesome, what, uh, what color did you get? Uh, Frankie says, cool, thanks man, you're welcome, live up, wait a minute, live up to lift up, what's your opinion, preference on camper shells? Uh, what is it, A-R-E, probably because it's the only one I know, other than that, I don't know much about them, um, when I was in high school, my dad bought a truck that had a camper shell on it. It was a big, giant, nasty looking, ugly thing. We took that off and I've never had one since. Uh, but I'm not opposed to them. I think if they're sleek enough in design, uh, they look good, but eh, I don't know. Not really my thing and I don't know much about them. Da Shark, did you ever do a video on a brake controller or do you recommend one? <clears throat> Uh, no and no. I don't have a need for a brake controller. I don't know anything about brake controllers, and I've never done a video on one. Chad Kanat says, hey, love to smoke, buddy. Distracted by aviation. Appreciate it. Yes. Uh, general aviation pilot working for a major airline. Awesome. Watching from Riverside, California, SoCal. Owner of a 20 TRD Sport Street Taco. Awesome. Awesome, man. Um, Morton Chops Mort, just making sure you wash that bad boy. Oh, it gets washed, you know, when it rains. Uh, Scott Marks, say Rob, any ideas for those of us that have third generation Tacomas who want a locking gas cap, can't seem to find any info out there for a locking gas cap option that doesn't uh, cause codes. I don't have one, and to be honest, if I was looking to buy one, I would just go out on Amazon, probably pick their highest rated one and buy it. Um, I, I don't know, don't know much about them. Um, and, and because I'm, I have no, excuse me, no interest in them. I mean, for me, excuse me, for me. Walter, hey Rob, I saw like about 20 Tacomas today. I even got compliments on mine. Also, I saw a Tacoma with the bug deflector and it looked like the Tacoma had a mustache. Well, that's awesome. It does have a little mustachey looking kind of thing, you know. Ah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Do you like them, though? Larry Pierce. Hey, from Riddle, Oregon. 
Uh, got a 2015 Tacoma. Larry, welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, Walter says, you have a Gen 2, right? Uh, I had a 14 or 15, I think. Walter says, also, does the bug deflector really work? Been trying to get one because I travel a lot and bug and pebbles always hit my windshield. <sighs> they work, I mean, they're going to keep as much off as what would normally be in their zone, right? I mean, if a bug's up here and it hits your truck, it's going to hit your truck, right? Same thing with a stone. Are they going to stop them all? No, no way are they going to stop them all, but they're going to cut it down a little bit, I think. Uh, Mario Tacoma Upgrades, O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Uh, they can get a hold of me too. Uh, I'd be more than happy to have them as a sponsor on the channel. Uh, let's see. Let's do this opening now. Gene's on here. I hope he's still here from uh, Canada. Love to smoke. Oh, wait a minute. One more comment. Uh, Carlos says, why? It may be that everyone complains about the 3.5 engine in Tacoma, but it is one of the best-selling trucks. That's for sure. Who knows why? Anyway, we're going to do a little unboxing. This comes from uh, Nero. Oops, it's got the label over it. I believe it's Nero Web Technologies and Flexographic Supplies. Let's go ahead and cut this sucker open. Hopefully, I, I'm going to try to cut it. Yeah, I'm going to cut it like this. Well, I'm just going to cut it a little. And then I'm going to... I'm going to kind of use the scissors to kind of tear it open because I know what's in here, I think, is uh, cuttable. So I don't want to cut it. Um, let's see. Walter. Hey, Walter. A guy told me today that the Tacoma engine is more reliable than the Tundras. What do you think? I have no reason to believe that or the other way around. I think uh, they're both perfectly reliable. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. All right. Let's see. Is there a note in here or anything? No note, uh, but what these are, and this is related to the other channel, so uh, if you watch the other channel, then you'll know right away what the point of it is. If you don't, then you probably won't. But this is, since we now live in the face mask age, this is a face mask that uh, I believe, Gene, you're going to have to correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it your daughter who's doing this? Uh, she has a company, I believe. Um, and they're making these face masks as well as other things. But this is a face mask with the Rob Motive JT logo on it. And it came out really well, man. I'm digging the colors here. Uh, this is what it is. This is what it looks like. Isn't that cool? Check that out, man. It's got Rob or RM on it, obviously, and the color theme that I've gone with uh, with my Gladiator. And then Rob Motive JT for Jeep truck. So, you know, you do this kind of thing with them. These are awesome. Look at that. I think this is awesome, man. Well, you tell her or you or whoever designed these that they are fantastic, man. I love the logo on them. Um, this came out really well. I don't know if the camera does it justice. Let me see if I can get it on there a little closer up. Yeah, the camera doesn't really do it justice, I don't think, but it's a nice, rich green. Um, it, it's perfect. I love it. And thank you very much. I really appreciate you sending this. Um, I don't know. I saw you commented something. I haven't read it yet, but, uh, let's go ahead and give her a plug. Um, if anybody out there is interested in this or whatever else she's into as far as printing or designing, I'm not exactly sure. So let's, uh, let's catch up with these here comments and, uh, and see. Uh, where was I? Uh, Mario Tacoma Upgrade says Tacoma, less weight. That's true. Less filling. Uh, Mumphy, be careful with the locking gas cap. Ang ended up having an issue with one that he bought. Yeah, I mean, you'll start throwing codes. If it doesn't seal properly, uh, you're going to get that check engine light, right? It's a bummer. Uh, Love to Smoke says she is taking her time setting it up. Uh, okay, so... I mean, I don't know if you want to give her any pub here or if she's not ready or if you have, if she even has anything to talk about, but you're more than welcome to mention it if you want. So by all means, go ahead. <clears throat> or in the future when she has it set up. Z Diver says, I had a Tecancha, Teconcha, Teconosha. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, P2 brake controller on a 2012 Tacoma. You have to order the Tacoma wiring kit and the connection is taped to the wiring harness under the driver's side dash. Mine worked great. Well, there you go. If you were looking for some kind of a brake controller, there's a first-hand report of one. 
Um, distracted by Aviation says, would you consider your Tacoma a JRV? Jeep rescue vehicle. Ha ha. Um, uh, <laughs> it depends. I mean, I guess if the Jeep gets stuck somewhere and uh, I happen to have my Tacoma within a very short walking distance or someone that wanted to come to me, uh, well, then sure, I, 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 could, uh, I could go for that. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's funny. Um, Mario Tacoma Upgrade says, put it in your underwear. Um, I'm not sure how you breathe, but that's not how it works for me. Uh, Frankie Martinez says, those masks... Masks are fresh, 100, 100. They are, they're awesome. Like I said, they do a great job. I have um, a Rob Motive one now. I use it uh, all the time. It's the only one that I use. I have one in my Tacoma, and now I'm gonna be able to put a Rob Motive JT in my Jeep Gladiator. I, they're awesome. Mario says face diapers are stupid. Yeah, but what do you think of death? I'm, there's sickness, I'm, I'm just curious. Uh, Desert67 says, Rob, opinion, 2021 Honda Ridgeline, all-wheel drive, HRD. <sighs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. I really, I don't know. I've never driven one, so really when I talk about them, it's really not fair. I'm only judging them by appearance, really. Uh, and it's a Honda. I mean, Honda makes subcompact cars and minivans, right? They don't make trucks. Neither did Jeep, though. So I, I don't know. I really don't have an opinion. Uh, I need to, to find one to mess with or something. Walter says, how long have you had your Tacoma? Um, I believe it was February or March of 2020. Uh, Walter, Angs wouldn't unlock. Oh, that sucks. Uh, oh, man, what a drag. Joe Baker says, hi, Rob. Have you re-geared your diffs since putting on large tires? What are your thoughts on this? No, and no, I wouldn't do that. I mean, unless you're going with something crazy, like 40s or something. <laughs> Let's see that. No, I wouldn't do that. I don't think it's necessary. You know, people go so crazy over that. Oh, you got to re-gear you. It's a truck, for God's sake. I mean, what, are you going to re-gear if you put weight in the bed? I mean, you know, that's what you're doing. You're putting weight on the wheels. I know it's on the wheels or on the, 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 the assembly there or whatever, but I, I don't, no, I would not do it. No, I have no plans to do it. Uh, let's see. Uh, distracted by evasion says, ha ha. Nicely done, Rob. LOL. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Scott Mark says, uh, for the guy with the camper shell question, here you go. Snug top offered the best value for the money, better fit, better seal, and better material construction. There you go. You see, if you ask the question, somebody is gonna know. I'm just saying. Terrence Tatum, they're gonna know. Terrence Tatum. Hey, Terrence. Howdy, Rob. Uh, how's it going tonight? It's going good, man. Just doing my thing. We got some uh, nice uh, new face masks from Love to Smoke. Gene up there in Canada made these for the uh, Jeep JT channel. They're awesome. They came out really well. Um, I've lost my spot. The Shark says, thumbs up, Z-Diver. I have a 2020 uh, TRD Sport. I have had it one year and only 1,800 miles. Sad, I have not been able to travel much. Well, you're keeping the miles down. Anyway, uh, Mario Tacoma says 98%, uh, let's see, 98%. Eh, we can't talk about that on here. You see, YouTube doesn't like that, so I have to get rid of it. Um, let's see, Mario says, don't be sheep. Um, being careful and being sheep are kind of a fine line, I think. You know, putting something like that on to protect yourself and others, is it really asking that much? Are you really that wound that it matters that much? You see, I'm not. For me, it's not a big deal. I don't care. Uh, her, wait a minute. Uh, Harjat, Haro, Harat? I'm going with Harat. Harat Kang. Any tips on cleaning uh, Uniball UCA? No, never done it. Don't know much about it. Uh, Walter says, which one makes better engines, Toyota or Honda? Wow, that's a good question, man. Um, I put them about equal, actually. I've had both. I never had any issue with either. So for me, if you're asking for me and my experience, 
Um, I put them equal. I've never had any trouble with either one. Deshark says, not Ted, should be TRD, autocorrect. Yeah, I understood you, man. I got you. Uh, live up to lift up, says, at Scott Marks. Thanks for the input. I've been comparing several other brands. Definitely uh, want quality, but price. Yeah, that's always the thing. You got to weigh the two. I mean, usually, not always, if you want the quality, you got to shell out the dough, man. That's the way it goes. Uh, Jack Kamen. Hey, Rob, I'm looking to lift my Tacoma. Uh, two and a half inches, no level. Do I really need an AAL and upper control arms or just shocks? Um, I don't think you need that stuff. Uh, I don't even think you need, uh, shocks. If you're going two and a half inches, you don't even need that. I mean, I, you know, I don't, I don't think you need either. If you're going bigger, you know, if you're going three, three and a half, I'd start looking at shocks, but I mean, I had it without shocks. It's more a function of the tires that made it rough for me. And it depends on what you're going to do with it. I mean, if you're out in the desert jumping humps, you know, you might want to do something with the shocks. If you're just driving around town, not a big deal. Uh, Distracted by Aviation says, thoughts on Magnuson Supercharger and or Pedal Commander, daily driver driving, uh, short to medium range road trips. I you must be psychic, buddy. I just did a, uh, or budette. I don't know. Uh, I just did a video on the Magnuson Supercharger today. I just uploaded it today. I believe, I think it airs tomorrow. So I'm not going to answer you there. You're going to have to watch the video. But Pedal Commander, um, I'm a power versus perception kind of guy, right? To me, the Pedal Commander changes your perception. It, it, it makes you feel like the truck is faster and that the... The reaction time between when you push on the pedal and the truck reacts is quicker. You don't get any more power, right? It's not like you put the pedal commander in and you gain 50 horsepower. It's not like that. It merely changes the way the truck reacts, this is my understanding, uh, when you hit the gas pedal. Would I get one? I would not pay for one. If they sent me one to try, I would try it. And then maybe I would change my tune, I don't know. But no, I wouldn't spend whatever they, it's like two or 400 bucks or whatever they are. No way. Uh, the supercharger, like I said, you're gonna have to wait. I think it's tomorrow morning. I have a video coming out on that. You almost scooped me there, man. Uh, Castro, Castro, uh, saludos. I believe that means howdy from Dallas, Texas. Castro, how you doing? Uh, let's see, Terrence says, nice mask. They are very nice. Uh, Desert 6-7, Rob, any snow driving in the Tacoma? No. Um, where I live, it's almost tropical, you know? I mean, you've seen, if you watch the channel, the foliage and the palm trees and jungle I live in here. Uh, we don't get snow. We, it doesn't mean we can't get it, but it's not going to be anything that, you know, you're going to be out plowing through. If we get snow, it'll last about two minutes, and then it'll be gone. So there won't be any snow driving for me. Unless something drastic happens, you can bet I'll get out in it, but mm -mm. they've only had snow here that I know of, I think once in the last 20 some years and it lasted like no time. So um, let's see, Xavier says, let's stick to Tacoma talk, no conspiracies or politics guys. Uh, yeah, and I will delete those kind of comments anyway. We don't, uh, we don't get into that here. It's not what I'm about. Uh, by the way, we have 72 people on here now and 25 likes. If you wouldn't mind, hit that like button. It just helps out the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't mean that you're like, you know, somehow tied to the channel or anything. I mean, you know, it's just a button. You just, that's all. Uh, Carlos says, which tires do you recommend for the Tacoma with no suspension? That's easy. Falcon Wild Peak AT3W. I am sold on those. I have them on the, on the Gladiator. I love them. They will be going on my Tacoma uh, when it's time to change tires. That's probably going to be down the road a bit, but uh, I love them. I think they're awesome. That's what I would recommend. Uh, Cheese Ween says something I'm, I'm not even going to read because I don't know what it means. Um, Mario says, uh, let's see, Mario Tacoma, oh great. It's, it takes your rights away slowly, boiling frog method, it will. I'm going to start deleting those comments, Mario. Uh, let me make it perfectly clear, not a political channel. Uh, let's see. 
Next up, uh, Mario says, I watch you a lot. I appreciate that. Then you should know it's not a political channel. What's the deal, buddy? Uh, Distracted by Aviation says, we'll check it out when it drops. Much appreciated. Yeah, it's going to be, um, I think it's tomorrow. I can't remember when I set it to go off. I think it's tomorrow. Um, but let's just say it's surprising. I was surprised. Um, Andrew Wisely says, any bumper mods coming soon? That company that I contacted, I was going to do it, man. If they'd have contacted me or wanted to work with me or did something with me, I don't know. I was going to do it. They never responded to me. So I don't know. Then I went and did my uh, demon brackets with the shackles underneath there. And I don't really have a need to do it now. Doesn't mean I won't. I probably will do some kind of a bumper down the road. But with those shackles and demon mount or demon brackets under there, I don't really have a need. It, it, it scratched that itch for me. That's what I really wanted, you know. But sometime, someday. Um, let's see. Distracted by Aviation says, makes sense. Uh, they can be a bit sleepy, the taco, oh, for sure. Uh, would like the extra responsiveness a bit when in SoCal. Traffic on freeways where needed. Yeah, they say it makes a difference. Again, I don't have any experience with it. I'm really looking for real power, more power. But if that scratches that itch for you, hey, I would, I would go for it. Terrence Tatum says, yep, thumbing up now. Thank you, Terrence. I appreciate that. What do we have on here now? 64 people and 35 of these. Wow, it's like almost not even half. Um, let's see. Morgan Henderson says, should my mom get a Nissan or Ford? Uh, Nissan. Uh, Carlos, uh, did you get the stimulus check? No, I did not. Uh, Carlos says, I did it. You did what? Or do you mean you got the check? I'm assuming that's probably what you mean. Uh, distracted by Aviation says, ooh, like it, Carlos, like it. Uh, distracted by Aviation, or rather Adam Wisely, he thumbed up, he liked, thank you very much, I appreciate that. Uh, distracted by Aviation says, Rob, where are you spending the stimulus, LOL. Well, let's see, for me, we're gonna be spending it on house insurance, homeowner's warranty, Taxes are due. We've got some dental work coming up for both me and the wife. So guess what? That money doesn't go very far. As a matter of fact, it's gone. <laughs> if I mean, it's gone. I should say it's gone before I get it. How's that? It's in the negative category right now. Um, Walter says, uh, when you had your automatic Tacoma, did you ever use sport mode? Uh, no, I didn't. You know, I, I don't... Sport mode, and you're talking about shifting, you know. I, I'm not, I, I drive a manual, right? I learned how to drive a manual. I grew up driving manuals. So for me, sport mode is, it's like a poser, right? It's like posing. It's not a manual transmission. It in no way even mimics the manual transmission, in my opinion. If you like it, there's nothing wrong with it. I've heard it's great for towing for keeping it down in the lower gears once in a while if you need to do it. But it's not my thing. I'm not a sport manual or automatic, whatever you want to call it, driver. It just doesn't get it for me. It's not my thing, so no. Uh, let's see, Jag Mechanical Law. Much appreciated your videos. Learned a few things watching these videos, thanks. Well, I appreciate that very much. And I'm curious, Jag Mechanical. What does that mean? Are you a company? Do you own a company? Is that your name? You never know. I'm just curious. Distracted by Aviation says, <clears throat> never does when married. Ha ha, LOL. Yeah, right? Right, Krista? Are you on here? My wife watches these. Uh, Walter says, uh, would you say learning manual is hard? Well, that depends on the person. If you're a patient person who isn't there are two kinds, there, uh, there are more than two, but let's just look at two kinds of people. There are the people that are like this all the time, right? Uh, not for those people. Those people should never touch a manual transmission. Then there are people who are real laid back and, you know, learn quickly. It's for those kind of people or even moderate. Um, it takes practice. Driving a manual transmission is like a dance. You have to learn the dance, right? I mean, you've got your hand on the wheel, 
you've got your foot on the clutch, you've got your foot on the brake or the gas, you're looking around, you got your signal. I mean, it's like a choreographed dance. And I love people who say, well, I learned how to drive a manual in 15 minutes. Really? How many real world conditions do you figure they were in in that 15 minutes? You know, where they're cruising down in rush hour traffic and all of a sudden the car in front of them slams to a stop. What did they do? Or they're on a steep incline with a guy right behind him on their bumper and they took their foot off the clutch. How did that go? You know, or they made a mistake and accidentally stalled the car out in traffic because it happens. It still happens to me once in a great while, but it still happens how they react. I love when people say, yeah, I mastered it in 50. You didn't master anything. You probably learned the technique as far as how to make it move, but you have not mastered it until you've experienced all of those things and more over and over again. That's when you've mastered it. Just saying. Um, and is it hard? It, it depends. It really is an individual thing. It depends on the person, man. Some people pick it up quickly. Uh, some people never pick it up. So I don't know, kind of depends. I don't think it's hard, but it took, it did take me a while to pick it up though. It's the first thing that I ever drove ever. So not only did I have to get used to the feeling of just a car on the road, I had to screw with that too. So it took me a while. It probably took me two or three months um, to, to get to the point where I felt comfortable. It probably took me a year before I'd say I mastered it. Um, so just saying. Uh, R. Bartel, uh, just put Falcon Wild Peaks on, great tires, highly recommend. There you go. I love mine, man, on the, uh, the Jeep JT. I've got uh, Goodyear, what are they, Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax on the Tacoma. They're not bad, but just a notch uh, firmer, I'd say, whatever a notch is, than the uh, Falcon Wild Peaks. So either one are good, but I would go with the Wild Peaks. Uh, let's see. Jag Mechanical says it is it is a small engine repair shop. Awesome, cool man. Where are you located? <clears throat> Scott Marks, uh, do you have a favorite Tacoma chat forum, Rob? I like Tacoma World. Love your show. Excuse me. Um, group, and that would be two groups. One is Third Gen Tacomas, um, which I am a moderator on, by the way, and then the other is uh, Rob Motive but I don't even know the name of it, uh, but it's my own. Not a lot of people in there yet. I don't really publicize it much, but it's they're both Facebook groups. Uh, like those, um, Tacoma World, um, I'm on there. I, now the forum, not the forum. Well, you're talking forum, what did you say? Uh, chat forums. I actually got kicked out. I got kicked out of there because it's full of trolls. And if you defend yourself, they kick you out, even though the, I, I can't even speak about it without being obscene. Let's just say, no, I don't care for that because the moderators that run it, in my opinion, do not do a good job. Um, now that's, I should preface that. That's the Facebook group, not the uh, internet forum. So if you're talking about the internet forum, that's fine. I'm talking about the Facebook group part of that. Uh, let's see. Distracted by Aviation says, other than your own channel and collection, is there a Tacoma YouTube channel slash IG account you're glued to and enjoy seeing their content? Uh, <clears throat> what do I watch? Um, I watch Trucker Josh. He is a, uh, or was, he's not really doing it so much anymore. He's kind of scaled it down a little bit. Trucker Josh, he's a Canadian truck driver. Uh, I watch him. I like it. Um, crazy Russian hacker. If you guys are familiar with that, maybe he's huge. I mean, gigantic. Um, he, uh, tests out all kinds of different things. Any, I mean, everything tools, kitchen things, primarily kitchen stuff. I just find it interesting. He's a Russian guy. So he's interesting to watch. Um, I think there was, there was one other that I, I check out. Um, if you're into cooking and that kind of stuff, Hercules candy. They're a small, which has grown tremendously, but a small candy making shop in New Jersey. Um, I watch them. It's good entertainment. Um, I like it. Those are the three that I check out probably every day. Of course, the usuals I'll check out once in a great while, you know, street speed every once in a while. I'll check him out. Not often. 
And Autovlog, when he's posting, he seems to be dropping off his posts lately. I know he went for two weeks without posting. So I don't know what's going on there. Uh, hopefully everything's cool, but I watch them occasionally. And then if you're really into kind of strange stuff, uh, there's a guy called the Report of the Week. It's this young guy and he's a bit different. He uh, does food reviews. Uh, I'll watch that occasionally. Uh, it gets to be a little repetitive now and then, but still he's, he's a unique individual and, and interesting to watch. That's what I watch, you know? I don't watch a lot of other Tacoma channels because I don't want to um, imprint any of their ideas in my mind when I'm making videos so that I can keep it original and I can keep it me. So if I don't watch them, I don't know what they're doing, I don't ad adopt or grab some of their stuff and incorporate it into my own, you know, if that makes sense. So uh, that's probably a way longer answer than you're looking for. Mario says, when I put the key in the ignition, it's a 2011. I wait for all the beeps to stop before turning. Not a bad idea. That makes sure everything gets fired up properly, I guess. Terrence says, shake it, Rob. Hey, I am a dancer, man. I am a dancer. Uh... <laughs> Mario says, fuel pump is electric. I would say that's, that's true. Um, oh, where was I? Man, I've, man, I've gotten behind here. Andreas De La Rosa Jr. says, hey, Rob, been gone a while, but glad to be back. Keep up the great videos, thanks. Hey, thank you very much. Appreciate you being here. Uh, Pursuit says, hello. I just put some 17-inch wheels with some all-terrain Wranglers, ATs. Uh, but I am still wondering how much PSI I should run my tires at. Depends on what you're comfortable with. Uh, 34 to 36, 34, 35, if you want a little bit um, it's more squishy ride, I guess. 37, a little bit higher if you want something firmer. And then probably around the 40-ish mark. And I really wouldn't go any higher than 40, 42 if you want something really firm, you know. Uh, but make sure you look at the ratings on the side of your tire to make sure that you're within the specs of that tire, right? Terrence Tatum says, master it, master it in 14 minutes. I know, right? It's just like, well, I'm a pro. Next. I wouldn't want to ride with that person. Uh, Walter says, I tried learning on my cousin's SI and I stalled it so many times, felt pretty bad. I hope I can get a manual in the future. You just got to keep trying, man, because once you, it's like riding a bike. Once you, once you learn it and you master it, you will never forget, and you'll be able to drive pretty much anything. It's well worth doing. Uh, the shark, hardest part for me driving a stick, was on an uphill at a stoplight and rolling back into the fool that stopped on my bumper. That is the worst thing. The worst thing is being a new driver, and somebody pulls right up on your bumper, and you're on a hill. That sucks. Uh, not a problem now, but back in the day, yeah, that wasn't good, man. Uh, Jag Mechanical says, located in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Well, there you go. If you're in the Calgary, Alberta, Canada area, and you're looking for some small motor repair, check out Jag Mechanical. I hear they do a great job. Well, I don't really know, but I assume they do. Uh, Lil Klondike Outdoors says, if you don't watch, uh, not the screen outdoors, he's just got his first vehicle. It's a standard and his first time driving, teaching himself. I bet that's entertaining. Terrence Tatum says, don't do Facebook. Eh, Facebook, you know, I, I do these things because of what I do for a living. You know, I wouldn't be on all these sites or social media platforms if not. And Facebook probably wouldn't be one of them, but I'm there. Sam the Band, Rob, I installed the Falcon AT3, 285, 1770s on a 4Runner 17-inch TRD programs. The tires are very good in all conditions, including northwest ice and snow. Good to know. Marcus, or Mark Jones. Uh, having Rob scream at you from the passenger seat makes learning a manual easier account, easier account to his videos. Yeah, I might have done that once to somebody. I, I don't know. Uh, Xavier says, you forgot Scotty. I don't watch Scotty often, uh, rarely for that matter. I Sometimes I'll see his thing pop up on my page, but I really don't watch Scotty. Uh, Carlos says, uh, nothing productive on that page. Uh, no, no, there isn't. Um, let's see. Walter says, don't forget to like. That's right. We got 44 people on here and 40. We've dropped a few, but we're almost even. Uh, Jordan DeWald says, Toyota Tundra versus Toyota Tacoma. Depends on what you like. Distracted by Aviation says, speaking of cooking, this is a highly recommended one of mine. Sous vide everything or sous vide everything. Don't know how you pronounce it. 
on YouTube. Cool, I'll have to check it out. Jordan says, what's up, man? Jordan, how you doing, buddy? Jordan says, today, Toyota Tacoma, 12 lifted. Awesome. Uh, Ramaran, I saw you talking about OV Tune. I uh, think you might try it, Rob. Um, maybe, maybe, been thinking about it. Uh, Gary T says, at Jag Mechanical, shout out to YYC. Uh, Sam the Man, learn to drive in a manual in, ver wait a minute, in, oh, in a VW Beetle a long time ago, then later drove manuals delivering soda for a big bottling, bottling company. There you go. Distracted by evasion, says Rob, an auctioneer. Sounded like it reading off the tire specs, LOL. <laughs> no, not an auctioneer. Um, sometimes I can't even speak. I mean, I'm just saying. Uh, Walter says, where is Krista? I don't know. Uh, Jag Mechanical says, uh, thanks for the kind word. We have been doing the small engine repair work since 1988. Love your channel. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And hopefully somebody will come in and say they heard about you on Rob Motive. I don't know. That'd be cool. Jordan says, new 2022 Toyota Tundra Pursuit T. What offset do you recommend on wheels? Minus 12. Uh, Frankie, uh, would you host a Tacoma Truck Show meeting or would you put the Blue Unicorn in any pair of parades? Um, I don't know. Depends. Depends on what the event is. Um, and depends on where it is, you know. Uh, I'm not opposed to that. Uh, Lil Klondike says, and then my screen just jumped. You know, this really is a pet peeve of mine. When the email just pops up on the screen by itself, drives me nuts. Uh, Lil Klondike says, I have to admit Rob is the only vehicle channel I watch. I do like the vlogs the best. Oh, and the live stream, but I try to watch them all. I appreciate that. I really, really do. Uh, Richard Schott, uh, keep up the good work. Ridgeline, just a city truck. It has its, it has its niche. It's niche, niche. Uh, Walter says, I recommend the sweet tea at Chick-fil-A. Me too. Love it. Um... Mario says, put new headlights on my truck. It's tricky when it comes to LEDs. Had to buy a load resistor for each headlight. It tells the CPU of the truck everything is good. Just a tip. Good to know. Jordan DeWald says, Texas likes trucks. Uh, you're absolutely right. Texas loves trucks. I've been on Top Chat this whole time and nobody told me. Uh, so if I've missed anybody's comments, it's just because I'm on the wrong setting. Sorry. Uh, Walter says, this is off topic. What's for dinner? Uh, two fried eggs, hard yolk, two slices of bacon, a little bit of probably the rest of this here Mountain Dew, and then a dove chocolate for dessert. I'm going back on the diet. We're on the diet again. So I haven't had anything to eat today except for, I think I've had two cookies, uh, three quarters of a bottle of the Dew, and, uh... A half of a tortilla, or tortilla. I like tortillas. Uh, just plain, just the, the bread, you know, because I'm a bread fiend, man. Uh, Carlos Lopez says, I like your channel because we always have those little differences. We do, we do. Uh, like that, like what you did to your truck. <laughs> uh, Jordan says, fun trucks. Trucks are fun. I like trucks, I do. Uh, let's see. Are we caught up? I think we're caught up. We are caught up. That's it. We're caught up. Nobody else has anything to say. You know what that means. Walter says, looks, looks more aggressive. The Tacoma or the Gladiator? I'd put them equal in different ways. Uh, okay. That's it. We're caught up. I am going to sign off now. It's been lovely chatting with you folks. I'm glad everybody out there made it through the holidays. I hope unscathed. Um, there is a video, I think it's tomorrow, coming up on the Magnuson Supercharger and my thoughts on that. Carlos says, nothing, nothing. Uh, let's see, uh, Distracted by Aviation says, thanks again, Rob. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it and happy flying. Anyway, I'm going to sign off. Good to see all you folks out there and I will see you next time on the web. Have a great night. Bye.